guys, it's Sir Magic here. So today I'm gonna do a pretty cool trick. So here I have one card, and it is the Queen of Hearts. Okay. So watch three, two, one. See, I can turn the Queen of Hearts into the Ace of Spades. So this is a trick. So let's learn how this trick uh, is done. Okay, guys. So here's the tutorial for this. Okay. So uh, okay. You, for this trick, you actually need a normal, like, a card, okay, and uh, just a little slide of hand, yeah, and what you're doing, actually, is the trick looks like this from behind, okay, so you're doing that, so you have a card, the change, so that's the snap change, and uh, the snap change is used in many, like, many tricks, okay, uh, many, oh, most magicians use this, okay, the snap change, and I love it, and I absolutely love it, okay, so, yeah, and of course you're using two cards for this, and uh, actually if you're starting out with a deck in your hand, you should do a double lift, and if you don't know how to do a double lift, link here, check it out, okay, on the screen, and you can do a pinky cam, catch a break, or you could drift from the back, however you want, just catch a break, and you could do a nice double lift showing the eight of clubs. Yeah, this is the Stuart Gordon double lift. I'll put a tutorial maybe in my next video or so in, or in the future. Okay, for this, I, I love this double lift, the Stuart Gordon. I'm not going to go to that, but you just have to learn any double lift. And from there, you're catching the card like this. Okay, so with your index in your middle here on the like kind of like the bottom edge, not like this, but here, somewhere here. Okay, and your index uh, touching the midline of the card. Okay, and uh, your thumb here, kind of like in the center. Yeah, okay, and what you're doing from here is your, uh, your, I'll just show you what's happening in slow motion. Okay, so you're taking the card back. Okay, so slow motion like this okay so you're taking th the front card back and you're exposing the uh, card behind that okay so that's the like kind of like the key for this okay and and w the method you're using is you're catching it like this right now what you're gonna do is with the middle you just drag that card back I'll just show you and you could you uh, when you do this you could use some kind of like you can change it with a flick okay or you could just uh, blow on the card like this okay so you could just do a blow or something like that but anything works okay and um, my like favorite thing is this flick okay so you could change the card just with a flick okay I can't show you now but in the t in the performance I use the blow but my favorite is a flick. Okay, you flick the card and then it changes, okay? I can't show you the front view, but I'll try. Oh, it's high. Uh, okay, so that's the front view. And uh, so if uh, after you do the trick, it's you're not in a perfect clear position. Okay, I'll just show you. Wait, wait. I'll just tell you how it's done. Catch it like this, okay? So what is happening is with your middle, you apply pre uh, pressure with your thumb, okay? Not Don't apply more pressure, just you're catching it. And with your middle, your middle pulls the card, pulls the top card. Okay, your index stays there. It pulls, it pulls, it pulls. Okay, until it clears this edge. Okay, so and you're taking the card to this. Okay, your middle and the fleshy part of your thumb. Okay, you're catching the card there, and y no one can actually see that card from the front. Uh, O only when you expose it like this or this, okay? So if you catch it just to their eye, okay? Just parallel to their eye, no one can see the card behind this, okay? So that's the snap change, okay? And I'll sh uh, tell you how it's done. This is just, um, I just gave you an overview of the uh, trick, but actually how it's done is you're catching like this, right? Middle takes the card like this, and you're just um, I'm just tell you, it's, it's really hard to explain, okay? Your middle just has to take the card, and your thumb applies pressure. Your middle just takes the card behind, okay? You're catching it with your 
middle and the fleshy part as I told you and uh, that is actually the snap chain and you have to practice it I can't just explain it okay you have to practice it okay and after you've done it you can do it with this snap or whatever but after you've done it you're not in a perfect clear position you have a you have this card here so what you can do is when you're doing you could just kind of like do this decoration and when this comes you can change okay and do that and when you get back like this you can take this card with you okay so that's and then you're clear and you can show that you only have uh, like one card okay so that's like one of the methods for clear something like that if you want the if you don't want to double in the hand but another clear method is that this one is the method that I found like this okay no one even knows you just change okay after the change you can just get back to you like this okay change is done and that so what you're doing is you're changing and with your middle and your this you're you just drag the middle back uh, with your index you're dragging the card back and squaring the card with this it's not perfectly squared now but I'm I'm catching it in the mechanics trip and making it squared and from here you could do whatever like sides you want with like uh, two kites whatever you know like this or this okay so you do the snap change and you can get back with this but I prefer like you practice this one where if you want to get it clear okay you do this do this and then you do the change and take the card with you and the trick is done so that is uh, like kind of like one of the clears okay so yeah this is a tutorial guys i hope you like it and uh, yeah thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel peace out see you again